Are you scared of the dark? You don't have to be with one of these in your pocket. The Armasight N14 is a small, compact, military-grade night vision monocular. It's waterproof, weapon and helmet mountable, and it has auto brightness control and bright light cutoff. There's a built-in infrared illuminator, and it's powered by a CR123 lithium battery or a single AA. Because of American export regulations, all United States manufactured third generation or above night vision devices are forbidden from being sold or shipped out of the United States. And so, where I live, this night vision unit can only be purchased with a Generation 2 Plus intensifier tube, which still provides amazing night vision capabilities, but not as good as Generation 3. However, if you look around online, it's possible to find older third generation image intensifier tubes in Europe and legally import them. And that's exactly what I did. So just how does night vision work? It's quite a complex technical marvel, but to keep it super simple, there has to be at least a little light. Night vision like this doesn't work in absolute darkness. It has to have at least some photons coming in in order to multiply the available light. Those photons go through the objective lens and enter the image intensifier tube, where they hit a light sensitive surface called a photocathode, which converts the photons into electrons. Those electrons enter the photomultiplier, which turns each electron into multiple electrons. So you end up with a lot more electrons than you started with. Then those electrons hit a phosphor coated screen, and each time one strikes that screen, it creates a little pinprick flash of light. So when you look in through the ocular lens, what you're actually seeing is millions of little flashes making up a visible image that's vastly brighter than the image coming into the objective lens. And the reason the image is usually green isn't just a coincidence, it's by design. You see, the human eye is more sensitive to green wavelengths of light than any other color, and this makes the image appear brighter than if it was another color like, say, blue or red. So with the science out of the way, how does this unit perform? The objective lens of the N14 is a 27mm f1.2. And if you're familiar with photography and f ratings, the lower the f number, the faster or brighter the lens is. For comparison, the lens on an iPhone 10 is f1.8. And for a phone, that's really impressive. But the f1.2 lens on the N14 is so much faster at letting light in, and this is important for night vision optics in order to be able to use the full potential of the intensifier tube. The more photons that get in, the better it can do its job of multiplying the available light. The lens magnification is zero, which means what you see through the ocular is exactly to scale with what you see without it. This is good. This means you can hold it up to one eye, but keep both eyes open, giving your brain a combination image of natural vision and enhanced night vision. So you get to see in the dark, but you also retain some 3D depth perception. The battery life when using a CR123 cell is rated at up to 60 hours. I've had the same battery in mind for almost two years and it still works. And what I love about this unit is that it can also run on a AA battery which is cheaper and easier to find in an emergency situation than the CR123 lithium cells. The weight comes in at 340 grams and it feels heavy in the hand but incredibly solid. It's made from an extremely tough plastic composite, it's weather and dust sealed and it's built for the military. As with all super fast fixed aperture lenses, you get a very shallow depth of field and so you need to adjust the focus ring on the objective lens quite a lot to keep the target in focus or when scanning an area with objects at varying distances. 
The ocular lens can be adjusted to suit your own individual eyesight. And here's a tip. Once you've adjusted it perfectly for your vision, use a silver pen to mark that setting. That way if it moves or you let a friend have a turn, you can easily get back to your own setting. If you happen to be indoors with no light at all, or you're outside on a moonless, cloud-covered night with almost no available light, you can still get a usable image by turning on the infrared LED, which has a lens that slides across to switch between far throw or close scatter. What's good about this unit is the infrared LED light is completely invisible to the human eye, unlike some other models which have a dull red glow. So just what can something like this be used for? Well for me, living in a semi-rural area, it's a fantastic tool to have in my pocket when walking my dog at night or if I hear coyotes out in the field around my home. The extra security of being able to see in the dark without drawing attention to my location is useful in a home defense situation. But my favorite thing to use this for is for stargazing. If you've never used night vision before, you'll be amazed when you turn this on and you point it at the stars for the first time on a clear night. The sky comes alive like you've never seen it before. With millions and millions of stars and nebula that fill your vision. You'll see satellites moving across the sky. You'll see meteorites that are normally too faint to be perceived with the naked eye. And if you catch a good sized shooting star, it leaves a long bright trail for several seconds. And you might even see some really weird things going on up there that are invisible to the naked eye, thanks to the N14's ability not just to enhance visible light, but to see in the infrared spectrum. It really is amazing. That's it for this review. I'll put some links in the description for where you can get one of these. And if I find any deals on this or similar night vision gear, I'll link you to those too. If you enjoyed this review, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.